the Extend One trial was a multi-center, multinational trial, including over 150 patients. All had severe hemophilia. They had to be age 12 or older. So there was a good number of adolescent patients as well. And um, they were switched from their previous standard product of factor eight um, to the uh, to, to EFA, that was the study drug. And patients had the opportunity to enroll in an observational study prior to switching where all their usual um, data related to factor eight treatment would be recorded. And so obviously the primary endpoint of this study was bleed reduction. And that endpoint was, was met. Patients had a true, quite amazing bleed reduction to almost zero bleeds or very low mean and mean, mean and median bleed rates. But more importantly, and that was the secondary endpoint, when the observational pre-study data on um, factor eight, their standard factor eight products, were compared to the study or the bleed rates on the study drug, there was quite a significant reduction from three to four bleeds prior on standard products to now below one, one bleed. And that was truly significant. And then there were a variety of other secondary endpoints, most importantly, quality of life, pain, joint health, and the remarkable thing about this trial was that there was not only a quite a reduction in bleed rates, and as we already have heard, a really favorable pharmacokinetic profile, but there was also a significant reduction in um, or improvement in quality of life, significant improvement in pain and significant improvement in joint health. And that was measured by the hemophilia joint health score. And not only was that statistically significant, it was also clinically what a meaningful endpoint. Most patients at the exit interview would say they really prefer EFA um, as opposed to their previous factor eight product. And um, there was quite a bit of reduction in pain medication as well. And so that is very remarkable. So the extent one trial is now concluded, but all patients had the option to enroll in an extension study, and that extension study is ongoing and will follow patients long term, again, assessing pharmacokinetic profiles, um, assessing bleed rates, um, assessing joint health, not only with hemophilia joint health scores, but also with ultrasound and objective imaging. And um, as far as regulatory goes, I think you might have to ask Sanofi, but I know that the FDA has granted breakthrough designation um, for that product, again, because it is quite remarkable that with one weekly infusion, near normal levels can be maintained for most of the week. And with that come significant improvements, again, in joint health, bleed, not only bleed rates, but also joint, joint health, um, quality of life, pain, et cetera. So it all ties in.